up guys, it's Trevor with Embers. Today we are doing another barbecue review. Why are there so many grills out? It's a lot of grills. Four of them? We're gonna review four. Four different grills. Elijah, you put them out. Four? Four. Okay, do you not see me talking to you? No. Oh, <laughs> you're just watching the camera? Okay, so we got four grills to review. These are all bull. We're gonna go through, <laughs> it sounds funny to say that. The brand is bull, okay? We're reviewing the bull products. We're gonna go through the whole product line. We got a lot to get into. Let's go. All right, so before we dive into this, you guys gotta subscribe and stay tuned. We have a lot of versus videos. We're gonna do Bull versus other brands. We'll include links below. So in order to watch those, you gotta subscribe, turn on your notifications. Don't forget if you're in the Westminster or Denver, Colorado area, come to our showroom. You can see these products for yourself if you're local here. Uh, okay, let's get into it. I don't need, there's a lot of grills, man. Where, where do we start? Should we start with the best seller? or start with the basic model and sort of work our way up? I say work our way up. Okay, all right, that's fair. So let's go with the basic one. This is the Bull Outlaw or the Lone Star? Outlaw. Outlaw. So the Outlaw is the base grade model. As you can see, we just have these uh, sitting on the floor like a bunch of animals. Um, you can install them as a built-in application or you can do a cart model. So you have either or install option, either way. So we don't have these fully put together because we're gonna throw them back in the box as soon as we're done with this video. So let's start with the burners since the um, grill is not put together and they're easily accessible. We pulled one out just to show you here. So the basic burner has solid cast iron. So these are, these are very heavy. So they're heavy duty and cast iron's nice so you know they're gonna get nice and hot. Um, the issue with cast iron is it can rust. So we ha sort of have this coating finish. It's a pretty thick coating. Our demo one's not as thick, but on our actual grill. So just a nice thick coating to help with rusting. Now the way their burners are designed, you've probably seen this concept because it's actually in a lot of grills. There's a lot of overlap with barbecue brands, but there's some unique features to bull that we're gonna touch on. But what's nice about this concept or design is see this here. So here's our burner ports. And then we sort of have this hood. So that little hood is gonna help protect our burner ports um, and just help, kinda help, help keep them healthy and clean. Um, so definitely nice burners for more of an entry level product. This is definitely a beefier burner, beefier, get it? Bull, beefy, barbecue, pun, no. Um, definitely heavier duty burners, that's a better word, better way, phrase to use. Um, in a more entry level product, so super cool. Um, it does have a warming rack standard. Now this more, is more entry level, so we don't have a rear burner, we don't have any lighting, but all 304 stainless, you can see closed. I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help with? Yeah, you shut up. Between Zane and uh, Siri, they're always interrupting me. Uh, 304 stainless. Uh, here's your th thermometer. Our knobs will show you on the other grill. Same knobs across the board. Same cooking area. So as we go through these three models, they're essentially the same platform. So same platform, same size. They're just gonna have different internal features as we go up through the model. So they're gonna be the same size. So we have the Outlaw, the Lone Star, and the Angus. They're all built on the same platform, same hood system, everything. Double lined hood. Again, what's cool about the double lined hood is um, that does help with a little bit temperature retention, but mainly it's gonna help so you don't have discoloration on your hood. Now let me grab the cooking grates out of the Angus because they do share the same cooking grates. So again, solid, three or four stainless, and they're nice and close together. I think I would guess off the top of my head, eight millimeter or so round. And they're gonna just sit in here like this. And then as we get through the grills, the flame tamers and the other components are the same in the grill itself. So we'll get into that as we get into the one that's fully assembled. So this is the Outlaw. Now, it's a price point model. So what type of customers are gonna be looking for this grill? So 
that we sell these to a lot of contractors, landscapers, a lot of common areas, um, pool areas where we were putting in three or four grills at a time, uh, apartment complexes, things like that. If you're a contractor or something and you need a lot of barbecues, but you're on a fixed budget, this is where we sell a ton of these because it's solid stainless. You don't have to worry about issues down the road, no bells and whistles, and it's, uh has a really good value price point. So if you're sort of in that market, uh, the Outlaw would definitely be a good model to look at because you get so much grill for your dollar without a lot of bells and whistles where a lot of common area people that are using, using it by pool or something don't really care about all the bells and whistles per se. So that's who we would really offer uh, the Outlaw barbecue to. All right, let's go to the Lone Star now. Uh, Lone Star, again, not a lot to touch on. It's essentially the exact same grill, minus two features. So we get two upgrades when we go to the Lone Star. So our first upgrade is we're gonna go to the same burner profile, same burner shape. Again, we have this little hood to protect our burner ports, but instead of cast iron with a porcelain coating, we go to a 304 stainless. So this is a actual stainless steel burner. So it's actually physically lighter, but it's actually an upgrade because you definitely don't have to worry about rust when you move to a three or four burner, but it is steel. So it's not gonna get quite as hot as the cast iron, but just a little more durable long-term. And then the only other difference is gonna be interior lighting. So we get upgraded burners and interior lighting when we go to the Lone Star. Again, outside of that, exact same grill. All right, now let's go on to the Angus. So this is the Angus model. This is our best seller. So now let's really dive into this grill because this one's fully put together and fully assembled. Uh, let's start with the cart. Now again, if, if you're not doing a standalone, the cart's not gonna really apply to you. But Elijah, you put this together. What did you like about the cart? I really like the casters. They're nice, supported, well-built. On the wheels? Yeah. And you thought those were nicer than some of the other ones you put together? Yeah. And that's important. It's important to us here because we wheel them in and out all the time in our showroom. If you're on a fixed deck, you might not notice that as much, but that is nice. I noticed their doors are a little more evenly aligned too, huh? Yeah. They're just on magnets, they're pretty basic. But then in here, we get a cool little shelf. Just a couple little features here. Um, they're gonna help. Looks like we have a knob to sort of lock in our propane tank if we're set up on propane. So that's nice. A couple little main features. And then our side shelves. One of my biggest complaints with companies is these side shelves aren't really large enough to do much with. So they're not super functional. But there is a little bit of attention to detail here that actually makes it somewhat functional. Um, you have these little hanging hooks so you, we can put our utensils or tools. That's always nice. That way your spatula is not laying on here getting it all dirty. What are you doing? Screw my papers. Do you not hear me doing a video? Sorry, boss. Every time. Every single time. How long were you sitting in there? Were you just hiding in there? <laughs> all right. Anyways, Zane interrupting us again. What was I talking about? The side shelves. Side shelves, yeah. So functionality, again, since we move these around so much in the showroom, um, they're really nice to have this little handle, again, to actually get you moved around. Not a huge deal, functionality-wise, not super important, but I can definitely see a little attention to detail more so than some of the other brands when it comes to the cart. But are we gonna find the same thing inside? That's important. So this is the fully loaded model. It gets, I think, three upgrades. Three different upgrades that the regular other, that are an upgrade from the Lone Star. So you see, we still have our lighting, but what's obvious is we have a rotisserie kit. So a rotisserie kit becomes standard at this point. So you get the motor, the spit rod and your forks. All right, here's our rotisserie motor. Again, our interior lighting, warming rack. Nothing to write home about there. I'm not gonna hand this to you because that'll take 30 minutes. Um, so we have our 
Interior lighting, just like the Lone Star, we get, so our upgrade is our rotisserie kit. And then on top of our rotisserie kit, we have an infrared rear burner. So you can see we have four main burners and then we have our fifth uh, infrared burner. Now you can see that sparking. These are all on igniters. So you can see they're all on their own igniters. And then again, we have our solid three or four cooking grates. And then some grills use like the ceramic briquettes. As you know, I'm not a huge fan of the ceramic briquettes. These guys use um, almost like flame tamers. And uh, these are gonna help divert grease and help with flare ups. And then we also have secondary brackets uh, down below here as well. Those just sit in here like that and that's gonna help again with just even heat. Both of these loose flame tamers help with that. And then underneath, it's just empty. And then we have our grease tray. Now it's cool, I really like, it. again, small little detail, but I like that it comes with this. That way you know not to get this caked up right away. And if you run out of these pans, you can just wrap this in foil and then all your grease is gonna go right there, nice and easily ac accessible. So then our third and final upgrade is we go to sort of a combination burner. So let's get a close up of these. These are cast stainless. So you get all the benefits and durability of cast iron, but you have the longevity of stainless steel and the fact that they're not gonna rust out. Again, same design, same layout, but um, even more durable. So this is gonna be their best burners. Now, again, we wanna focus on little things that give attention to detail that really, in my opinion, um, make bull, they separate themselves from the competition. So they've been around for 25 years, so a lot longer than a lot of their competitors that uh, have come to market with very, very similar products. Um, so let's talk about a couple attention to details here. And we're not gonna get in, we're gonna compare it to some other brands, but we're not gonna do that too much because we also are gonna do a separate video where we get fully in depth comparing this to other models. So let's talk about it. So notice here, right away, on our flame tamers. What do you see there? I noticed this. What's that say? Back. Back. So that goes on the back of our grill. Now the idea is it doesn't matter what grill you're cooking with, uh, Weber's, Napoleon's, uh, Blaze, Somerset, Bull, Lynx, even high-end grills. It's just a fact that the front end of the grill cooks cooler than the back end. And it's not so much that they're gonna have crazy hot spots, it's just in the back side of the grill, it's always hotter. So they've done a couple things to combat that. Again, close up. Now you wouldn't know this unless, I wouldn't have noticed it unless um, I got the training on it. But notice our holes here. They're big in the front, and then what do they do? Gradually get smaller. Gradually get smaller. So we're gonna, it's gonna let in more flame on the front side of the burner to keep the front side hotter. Now, another small detail that they do is in their burners themselves. So they sent us this little demo burner. Now I'm gonna compare this to some other models. So this is a Blaze burner. Now, again, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side in a separate review, but I have a hunch those are the same burners. What, what about you? I mean, is it, is you need to be a scientist to figure out that these are the same? Nope, just branding. Yeah, just branding. So they are the same, but they're not. And let me tell you why. Chances are they're probably getting them from the same place, but Bull does a little bit something extra. And so they sent us this one that's cut open and they weld in these deflectors in the Bull burners. So this is gonna sit in there like this. Now again, for the same reason, it's gonna try to deflect or keep heat away from the back to promote even cooking throughout the burner. So that's one thing they do. And I went through the blaze. Let me hold it up to the light. I don't know if the camera can catch it. I didn't go through the trouble of, cut, of cutting this top off, but you can see through every one of those ports. So those deflectors are not in the blaze, for example. Even though that's a really tiny detail, it's important. Why is that important? Because if we have even cooking throughout the grill, that directly affects our food. Anything that directly affects our cooking 
and our performance and the way our food is gonna taste is an important feature. So that is important. Also, if you notice, notice here, are all these burner ports the same size? Nope. No, what happens? Gradually gets bigger again. Gradually gets bigger. So again, thicker burner ports in the front of the grill. So you're gonna, again, and smaller ports near the back of the grill, again, to promote even cooking. So side by side with the blaze, the blaze is just straight across, right? Whereas the bull, there is a difference in the burner ports. Again, minor attention to detail, but important. And we love Blaze. We sell a ton of them. They're great, quality's great. But if we can make our even cooking just that much better, that's an important feature. Now again, we're not gonna get into it with uh, too much with other brands because we're gonna have that in a separate video. But I am seeing just a cut above and I'm really liking what I see. So let me put this flame tamer back, put our cooking grids back. And then overall on a spec sheet, another interesting fun fact is uh, this, this 30 inch grill is about 70 pound, pounds heavier than the competitors. Again, in that video, I'll dig into why I haven't exactly figured out what's more heavy duty in the grill. But the grill definitely seems beefier, just, just even lifting the lid. Didn't you think, putting it together? Yeah. yeah. And we have our temperature control, nice handle. That's pretty much the grill. Um, so these, again, are all the same size. Now, if you're wondering about the Brahma and the Diablo, those are, have, the Brahma and the Diablo have the exact same specs and features of the Angus, they're just bigger. So they're basically an Angus grill that's larger. Now what I have over here is not to make it more confusing, but we have the Brahma. So if you're interested in the Brahma, you'll see the size difference here. But now we go into, this is a very, uh, I don't know the right word for it. It's a very select group of, they're hard to come by, but this is a, a, a very specific trim model. See that here, that badge? This is the Elite badge. So they have an Elite lineup and it's very exclusive. Exclusive, that's the word I'm looking for. So the Elite products are, have even a few more upgrades from the regular Angus. Um, they're available in the, all the sizes the three sizes. Um, so you can order the Brahma in the regular or the Brahma and Angus in the Elite trim package. And it's so exclusive because if not every bull dealer is an Elite dealer. Um, so we happen to be an Elite dealer here. Um, they're so exclusive, we can't put pricing on the website. You have to call us to get pricing. They don't allow us to publish pricing. So if you're interested in the Elite trim package, um, definitely give us a call because then you'll, we can give you pricing. So it's kind, of, it's kind of weird the way they do that, but essentially it's a very exclusive trim package that's not available nationwide. So let's go through some of the features. So you can see right away we have a different finish. So our knobs and our handle and our uh, thermometer are sort of a black chrome finish. Not that that's necessarily an upgrade, it's just subjective if you think it's cooler or not. Uh, inside, we still have our interior lighting, uh, but in, inside we get two upgrades. So our cooking grates go to a hexagon shape instead of round. So just to compare, so it's a pretty slick feature and you can see when you do that, you're gonna have more surface area to cook on. So it's gonna create more surface area within the grill, which is pretty nice. Uh, rotisserie, side burner, all that's pretty much the same. But then you do get one really cool feature and that's you get one, they change out one of the burners to, they change out one of the burners to a ceramic infrared burner. So this is gonna be a high heat burner that if you wanted to sear, basically have a sear station or something, that's gonna get super, super hot. That's what that is. So those are the features you get. You get the Elite badge, which is kinda cool, black chrome, the hexagon shaped cooking grids, and the drop in infrared burner, that all is standard. So this is like the elite, it's called the elite. This is the loaded, like 
luxury line of the Bull lineup, and it's, it is an exclusive product, so you have to call us about it. Um, if you're gonna do an Elite, you can do it with the Angus, or the Brahma, or the Diablo. Um, personally, when you do the Elite, I like it in the Brahma size, and the reason behind it is, is I still get four main burners as a cooking area, and then I have a sear station sort of off to the side. If you, when you have a sear station off to the side, you're starting to lose a little bit of real estate in the Angus. You can certainly do it. Um, you're just not gonna have quite as much cooking space on your regular surface. So that's why I like the Brahma, is essentially we have all the cooking space of the Angus plus a separate section just for searing. Oh, also, one other feature we didn't talk about is you get a secondary knob here. So now we have down LED lights on our knobs versus the regular model, just interior lighting. That's a really minor feature. Um, not super functional, just kind of looks kind of cool. Out of all the features when it comes to lights, obviously the interior lighting is much more important. But if you really like that exterior lighting too, you're gonna wanna go with the Elite model. So I know this kind of sounds confusing, so let's break it down. We have the Outlaw model, which is bare bones with cast iron burners with uh, porcelain coating, no lights, no rotisserie. Then we go to our Lone Star, which is gonna be stainless upgrade to stainless steel burners with lights, but no rotisserie. Then we go to the Angus, which again, all of these are the same size, fully loaded, uh, cast stainless burners, rotisserie burner, lighting, and rotisserie kit. So this is the fully loaded model. Now again, in this trim package, we have three sizes. We have the Angus, Brahma, and Diablo. They're all the same grill, same platform, just bigger. So we basically go to a four, to a five, to a six burner, if that makes sense. Then we have the Elite, which is exclusive, with several upgrades. We have the hexagon burners, we have the exterior lighting, we have our infrared sear station, and then we have the black chrome accents. Again, this is also available in the Angus, the Brahma, and the Diablo. So you can order that in any size. Um, it's kind of frustrating too, because you won't find like the elite stuff even on the Bull website. So if you're doing research and stuff, you're, you're, you're just gonna have to call us because there's not a lot of info on there. We're gonna be building pages on our website, but we will not be able to put pricing on there when it comes to the elite, because it's elite. So hopefully all that makes sense. Again, click the link below. We're gonna include some um, comparison videos to other brands. But my summary of breaking these down, they, without giving too much away of what's co coming in my Versus video, but I think in, in, in a solid stainless grill, built-in or cart model, if you're looking for something a little more heavy duty than a big box style grill, but you don't wanna go absolutely crazy with like a $6,000 grill, like a Lynx or a Fire Magic, something like that, where we're not in that luxury category, sort of upper end, but not breaking the bank. I'm gonna go out on a limb and just tell you, just from being hands-on with so many grills, that this one would be near the top of my favorite. I really like what Bull's doing. I like their attention to detail. Like I said, they've been around for 25 years. Um, so they've been around longer than the competition, most of the competition anyway. And so I think they've sort of refined it and, and did a few tweaks to the model lines to really get a really awesome product. So this is the Bull product line. Don't forget if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, come to our showroom today, check these products out. Stay tuned for more videos.